so we've got this wonderful question under arithmetic progression. The question is saying for an arithmetic progression 16, 25, 34, 43, 52. Just going. Then these are the questions we are taught to answer here. The first question is saying that write down the next term. So you are taught to write down the next term. How can you answer this particular question? This is a simple question. I guess we are able to answer this. The next term. So for you to come up with the next term after 52, what number is coming? You need to find the common difference, which is D. How do you find the common difference? We say two second term minus the first term. This is what we are going to do. So in this case, what is our second term? That is 25 minus first term, that is 16. So when you do the subtraction here, when you do the subtraction, what answer are you getting? You are going to get uh, 9, 9 as your answer. So you are going to get 9 as the, what, as the answer. So the arithmetic progression, which is an AP, for you to find the next term, you just need to add the common difference to the previous term. So if we say 43 plus 9, we are getting 52. 52 plus 9, you are going to get what? You are going to get 61. So meaning that 61 is our next term. You are done. So that is your answer. The answer is what? 61. This is how you are supposed to answer that particular question. The next one, we are told to find the nth term. How then can you find the nth term? For you to be able to find the nth term, what you are supposed to do, you need to write the formula for the nth term of an AP. So this is a particular formula. This is the formula we get to use and this is the formula you are supposed to understand. So finding the nth term, you just need to know the common difference, which is 9. You also need to know the first term, which is 16. So these are the only two terms or two things you are going to substitute in that particular formula. So you are going to say Tn is equal to first term, that is 16, plus n minus 1. Common difference, that is 9. You multiply this 9 with everything in the brackets. So you say this is equal to 16 plus 9 times n, that is 9n, minus 9 times 1, that is 9. You group the like terms there. So this is equal to 16 minus 9 plus 9n. Therefore, the answer is any term is given by the formula. So when you subtract there, what answer are you going to get? You are going to get a 7 plus 9n. So this is your answer. This is the any term. This is what you are supposed to do if you want to answer this particular question. I'm your wonderful tutor, tutor for maths and sciences, and I'm here to make sure that you get a distinction in science, biology, and mathematics. So for those of you that are interested in starting lessons with me, this is the only time you have for you to start the tuitions. So you can contact me on my number. This is my WhatsApp number. So you can WhatsApp me on this number. I help you get a distinction in an easy way. So this is my number. Let's make sure you text on WhatsApp. I give you the procedures you have to take. You make payments. I add you to the group. I help you. So you are an internal candidate. You are a GC candidate. This is the only time you have for you to do your lessons. Thank you so much.